What's up everyone, Wild Runs here. Let's go over the best moments of Simon Lazat's year because it is crazy. So I truly believe this is just a one of a kind year. Like this will never happen again. He honestly should have gotten player of the year in my opinion because he just showed up in a way that he's never done before. He probably never will. And honestly, I don't think anyone else really has done that. They haven't just shown up out of the blue after being on tour for so long and having a kid the same year. It is just crazy. And then you think about all the things that had to happen for him to get his four wins. Like, let's see, uh, <laughs> Corey Ellis choking on hole 18. That was absurd. It was just an easy layup zone shot and he missed it. Like, that's just not like him. And then you have Double G throwing the worst, worst forehand on the upshot. Totally not like Double G to just like, I mean, he's not a great forehand shotter. He's not a great forehand player. But man, choking on hole 18 like that was just like, it was meant to be for Simon. And then, of course, we end with Stumpgate. I know that people probably didn't think Burge really had anything in him. But, man, he just performed so well, especially in playoff holes when, like, you don't expect any newbie to be, like, at all proficient. But he was showing up and honestly doing just as good, if not better, than Simon. Simon had to make a 40-foot uh, circle two putt to even win the tournament, even with Stumpgate. So this all was just craziness, and I cannot believe that Simon had the year that he had. Um, so I'm going to go over the best moments of 2022 for Simon. Um, I'm also going to include uh, DDO clips because he got second place. And I know everyone says that tournament's kind of scuffed, but I really like it. And I really like some of the butts he made because like it's a 15 footer. No one cares. But with this wind, it was awesome. Great skip. And I just love to see Simon's distance. It's just a certain skill set that very few possessed. And I know that no one else can really do it like him besides like maybe Eagle and Double G. But he just makes it so smooth and so effortless. Oof. There's so many throws when I was making this compilation that just didn't even seem real. Like it didn't even happen this year because it's just like, oh yeah, it's a compilation. Those just good six. <laughs> so I included Gossage as a way to show that like Man, a, Simon just shows up. He does not get big putted. He will make his birdie yeah, putt, <laughs> even if Gossage makes a 150 foot skip ace or skip birdie. And just every time uh, I feel like Simon wins a tournament, he's throwing some insane spike hyzers <laughs> or almost getting an eagle. It's, it's crazy. And then you have instances like this where it's just luck. Like he should have gone OB. But nope, <laughs> that's just not the way it plays out. And then he capitalizes on it. Makes an elevator putt like it's nothing. Uh, <laughs> on MVP, I really like this tournament, but I definitely think that there was just so much people that could have won that it felt a little random. Uh, let's not say it was bad. I just felt like Simon didn't exactly deserve the win because there were just so many people in contention. And he was on chase card. He makes putts like this, where it's just like, yeah, yeah, he des he deserves it. And it's just like, Simon feels like a player that you would know and play with. Like his style is just like very casual, very chill. But yet he rips it and makes all of his putts. And throws accuracy so shots like this. I see this again and again through these clips that I've been working on. He throws just a slight Anheuser, unst understable mid, and it's just... It's just effortless. He just makes it look so easy, and he throws it like 200 feet spot on every time. And then he can also rip 650, or maybe 600, but still, it was a total rip. And I just love his reaction. Like, he, he didn't deserve it. Someone else just missed a zone forehand putt. And then the Portland Open. I've actually played this course before, and I really, really enjoyed the like, course layout and everything that the course had to offer, especially shots like these. I have done that exact shot. Uh, you should be going OB, but you hit something, and it just rolls ever so slightly in. And I think this course just requires creativity because there's just not that much going on, but there's just enough on the... Uh, sides where you have to really focus on what shot you want to perform. Uh, seeing this hole, I definitely think of Eagle choking his his putt, doing his little roll away. Oh, good times! And 
And just like that, Simon just makes crazy butts. And then very next hole, he'll throw 500 foot <laughs> insane butts. And I think if I don't count Des Moines, then probably uh, these rollers and some of his accuracy shots at this course were probably my favorite performances he's had all year. Because there's just shots like this where he throws a DD3 like it should be going that far. Like it's 390 on a hyzer angle. Like that, that's not something I can ever do. I'm going for the flex line. This is looking really good. And now two yeah, it just makes me feel bad. Like when I'm playing, I don't Absolutely ever hit this kind of accuracy more than like once every round. And even that, it's like still, still kind of scuffed because I missed my butt, so it doesn't really matter. But he didn't cross the plane. Yep, I agree. He will. I think he'll be very happy to have hit that tree. I just wonder what it'd be like to hit a roller like this. I just don't understand. And then your upshots. Your upshots just go right into the basket and stick. That's not something I've ever done. Alright, so double G. I feel bad for him. I really do. But it feels good for Simon to get four. I'm not going to say he like deserves it, but man, it feels good. I really am excited to see where uh, Des Moines is going to go. There's just a lot of uh, potential, I think, of this course. And I think having the playoff holes happen just really added to the potential of people being excited about it, it maintaining its um, prestige on tour. And it kind of feels, I'm not going to say it is world ready, but it feels like it could be a world's-esque course. And I like that there's like that type of challenge, that type of expectation uh, when you get to hole one and start watching. And then if I could ever go and see a Simon line like that, I would be enthralled. I feel like some, some of these putts you just don't think about because they're just like, oh yeah, like Ricky did good, Paul did good, and uh, Gannon crushed. Oof. Man, something about that Burge putt just like gives me chills. Like, Simon making a great putt is awesome, but Burge getting that was just so unexpected. And Stumpgate, it hurts. Oh, it nearly went OB. I didn't, didn't even see that. But all it takes is one 40-footer, and he's got his fourth. All right, <laughs> that concludes this epic montage of Simon's top clips of the year. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 1,000, and I'll definitely be doing some giveaways at certain milestones up until that point. So thanks to you for watching. Uh, come back tomorrow because I'm going to make a video every single day.